Hey guys, welcome back to Moyo, the cooking channel that's not so useless. We just recently did a video on how to properly rehydrate dried shiitake mushrooms, link in the description below. So you know what? We might as well put them to good use. And a dish that truly highlights these mushrooms is the ever so popular braised mushrooms with bok choy. And to make this dish, you'll need to do two key things, marinate the mushrooms, and then braise them. Plus, boil the bok choy, but that's pretty rudimentary. But before we begin, if you do enjoy this video, do consider subscribing, as it does help the channel out. To marinate the mushrooms, you'll need dried shiitake mushrooms, vegetable oil, sugar, and cornstarch. For the quantities, you'll need about 170 grams of dried shiitake mushrooms, or if you followed our rehydrating mushrooms video, then about 450 grams of rehydrated shiitake mushrooms, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of cornstarch. So first off, you want to rehydrate the dried shiitake mushrooms such that you turn this into this. Now that being said, I strongly advise watching our rehydrating dried mushrooms video, again, link in the description below, as rehydrating and storing mushrooms beforehand will save heaps of time throughout the year. For us, we can simply take the mushrooms out the night before and let it slowly thaw overnight. Or if you're in a hurry, you can quickly defrost it in the microwave. Anyhow, in a big bowl, add the mushrooms, sugar, and cornstarch. Give the mushrooms a good mix through until the cornstarch coats the mushrooms nicely. Then add in the vegetable oil and mix. And then let it marinate for 10 minutes. The ingredients you'll need for braising include bok choy, cooking wine, sesame oil, chicken powder, oyster sauce, potato starch, chicken stock, white pepper, maltose syrup, spring onion, and ginger. Oh, and you'll also need some water. For the quantities, you'll need 8 bok choy, but honestly the amount is up to you, 30 grams of cooking wine, half a teaspoon of sesame oil, a quarter teaspoon of chicken powder, 30 grams of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of potato starch, but this amount will vary, and more details later on in the video. 400 milliliters of chicken stock, again, this amount will also vary. A sprinkle of white pepper, 30 grams of maltose syrup, two spring onion stems, four slices of ginger, and three tablespoons of water. Similarly, the amount will also vary. Start off by cutting four slices of ginger. Then portion the spring onion stem and flatten the white bits to help release more flavor. Now for us, we're going to substitute the chicken stock with a premature mushroom stock. And this mushroom stock was a byproduct of when we rehydrated the mushrooms. Next, heat up the maltose syrup to make it easier to measure with. And with that, all of your ingredients should be ready. So at your stove, turn the heat on high and add in some oil. When the oil gets nice and hot, add in the ginger and spring onion. Cook the ginger until golden, then add in the mushrooms. Continue cooking until you start smelling those great aromatics. Then add the cooking wine from the rim. After that, add in the oyster sauce. The chicken powder. And the chicken stock. Now you want enough stock to almost submerge the mushrooms completely. And keep in mind that the liquid will reduce as you continue cooking. So if you want your dish to have a lot of sauce, then you'll want to add more stock during this step. Then add in the maltose syrup. And 
and a sprinkle of white pepper. Then put the lid on, and yes, our lid is too big for our saucepan. And let it braise on low heat for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, start washing the bok choy. Cut off any root ends. As well as any yellow leaves. Then gently open up the stalks and run it through the water to get rid of any trapped dirt. When done, just let the bok choy hang out until the braising is almost over. Boil enough water to almost submerge the bok choy completely. At your stove, heat on high, add in the water. And completely optional, add in 1 tablespoon of salt and 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. Then put the lid on and wait for the water to boil. When the water boils, add in your bok choy. And let it cook for roughly 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, take them out. And let them drip dry whilst we finish up the mushrooms. After the 30 minute braise is over, give the mushrooms a quick stir and remove the ginger and green onion. We're then going to thicken up the braising liquid using a potato starch slurry. So with 1 tablespoon of potato starch and 3 tablespoons of water, mix until the starch is completely dissolved. Then turn the heat on high. Add in some of the slurry and quickly start stirring it throughout the mushrooms. You want to make sure you add the slurry in small amounts to make sure it mixes and cooks evenly. But also, you don't want to over thicken your sauce. The amount of potato starch slurry you use will depend on how thick you want the sauce to be, so play it by ear in small amounts. For us, we didn't use all of the potato starch slurry, which is why we mentioned early on in the video that the quantity may vary. So keep any leftover slurry for another day. Once you're happy with the thickness of your sauce, add in the sesame oil, and your mushrooms are done. So go ahead and assemble your dish however you like. So guys, that was my family's recipe for braised mushrooms with bok choy. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you ever get the chance to make this at home, be sure to tell us how it goes. And if you want to see any of our future videos, be sure to subscribe. See ya.